Hi, I'm Maddie. Have you ever considered if it's possible to fly without wings? We have just about mastered the art of flight utilising wings, but some animals can take to the air without them. Ballooning spiders are the perfect example. These tiny aeronautical arachnids can travel for miles through the air, but how? Just like these balloons, they rely on wind currents to get about. This enormous balloon gets airborne by filling its canopy with hot air. But of course, spiders don't quite have the same technology. Instead, they climb to the top of nearby foliage and use it as a launch pad. They do something called tiptoeing, which is where they stand upright and put their bums in the air and release a long strand of gossamer silk. Just like the canopy of a balloon, the silk is incredibly lightweight. A spider, only a few millimetres across, can release a strand of silk a metre long. <laughs> the silk creates drag, and when there's the right amount of updraft, the spider is hoisted into the air. Take off. When conditions are optimum, hundreds of them will leave the ground. It's primarily the juveniles who leave their nursery in the autumn in search of new habitats. Some of them might only reach a few metres before they touch the ground, but if they catch a strong air current, they can travel tens of miles a day, perhaps crossing small oceans or maybe even into neighbouring countries. Of course, once they're airborne, spiders have no control over their destination or direction, unlike some gliding ants. This remarkable footage was taken by Steve Yanoviak in Peru to show how ants who live high in the canopy can glide back down to the trunk of their tree. It's thought they do this to avoid hitting the forest floor because quite obviously it would cause injury, but also it would leave them exposed to predators and it would use up a lot of energy for them to climb back up to their colony. These ants actually glide backwards, abdomen first, and it's thought that they use their legs to help guide them back to the trunk. There are plenty of other wingless animals who, once they reach a good height like this, are able to glide or at least slow down to their descent. Sugar gliders can travel over 50 metres between trees by stretching flaps of skin between their fore and hind legs. They also use their tail as a rudimentary rudder to help steer them back to the trees. But there are many less obvious examples too. The flying frog uses enlarged toe pads as mini parachutes to glide between trees. And there are also five species of flying snake who flatten their ribs in a cross-sectional shape similar to a frisbee. They then perform exaggerated S-shaped movements to stabilise themselves. It's a little bit like a tightrope walker moving from side to side for balance. Although none of these animals have achieved true flight like birds, bats and insects, they have shown us how it's possible to take to the air without wings. Sadly, they don't all land as elegantly as they take off. <laughs> wow.